G'day everybody, it's Tear Down Tuesday. Um, I've got an old deceased, possibly seized, I know there's a brush missing, um, by, by pump. It's called 12 volt by pump. It's for pumping or transferring diesel, I know that for a fact. There is a brush missing, and I was told that the brushes weren't available. I find that to be a bit of a, a lie. But anyway, I'll uh, start tearing this down and then we'll have a look, see how it goes. See what's wrong with this old sucker. It's uh, marked as 2002. I doubt it could have done that much work. On top here we've got a big switch for on and off. Oh, just give me a second here, I'll uh, remove some screws and we'll see how we go. Alrighty, well there's a look under the lid. Obviously the connections to the motor there, you can see the brushes down in there. Nice uh, 50 amp, uh, I don't know if it's a breaker, I think it's just a switch, it doesn't say it's a breaker, even though it looks like it. Um, 50 amp, maybe it is a breaker, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to remove that, that's going to be useful for something. And uh, we're going to get stuck into this a bit more. Hmm. Hmm, the way that works, I think it might actually be a breaker. Um, it looks like, kind of feels like it, the action. Have to uh, check out its part number, but it's made by Eaton SA, made in Switzerland. So uh, that's a nice little piece. I'm, I'm definitely going to keep that one. Uh, something I'd show you here is, is that the way these motors are wired, run runs forwards, run runs one runs backwards. Um, the reason they've done that is because one needs to run the opposite direction to drive the probably gear pump down the stand inside there. So I'll strip this down a bit more, and we'll have a bit more of a look. Well, yeah, I can already see this thing's done a lot of work. There's a lot of gunk down inside there, a lot of brush hair, or I call it brush hair. Um, somebody tried to clean that one out a bit, I think, to fix it, but I'm, I'm guessing that the com bars are going to be pretty, pretty worn out. So uh, I'll keep stripping this and uh, see how we go. Okay, so I got the uh, mounting bracket off. I decided I'll do the pump end first because that's more interesting. And uh, let's get this cover off. Okay, so it appears to be like a, a, a similar style to a vein pump, like a, uh, a power steering pump or some small hydraulic pumps. Um, now these motors do turn independently of each other, so I'd say if one motor fails, the other one would still pump something because they actually don't, well they share common inlets and outlets, but they don't, uh, yeah they share a common inlet and outlet, but they are actually two separate pumps. So. I wonder if it was just starting to get really slow, one of the motors sort of wearing out a bit. Now if I pull this out gently, there we go. Now that's kind of like just a holder, and as that spins around, both centrifugal forces and pressure from the fluid from memory actually help hold these in place. And as they spin, they push the fluid through from one opening to the other. There. So one side would be, well that would be suction and that would be discharge. It's labelled discharge. Um, interesting little bit. And this other one is exactly the same thing. You see how that spins? Ah, I see. Yeah, as that spins, I'm not sure which way that would go. Uh, see, I'm, I'm learning something here. Um, yeah, I think it sucks it in this side, pushes it through this passage here, and then forces it out the outlet on that side there like that. So where you've got the big area, that's where the fluid flows through I believe. I could be wrong. But that's the way it looks like it would run to me. I don't know, if the fluid pressure was pushing on there, I think it would push the vein back open rather than uh, hold its pressure and push it through. So yeah, that's interesting. Very interesting. Uh, something to note is, is that the, uh, the rotors have worn somewhat on the on the housing, even though it was pumping diesel, which is a rather good lubricant, it still seems to have uh, done some damage here. Alright, I'll uh, get the uh, armatures out now. Okay, so overall these pump motors don't seem to be as bad as I thought they were. Yeah, they've they've definitely uh, definitely taken some heat. I don't know if they just got overloaded or what, and it's a bit worn. But I've seen much worse, that still works. The bearings are fine. I wonder if somebody told a fib to a customer why this pump was broken. I pulled it out of a scrap bin by the way. <coughs> but I wonder if the guy that I pulled it out of a scrap bin, I wonder if if uh, he was telling the customer a fib. Um, because uh, overall the pump itself looked quite alright. Um, the motors themselves don't look too bad. 
I mean, they're obviously worn. They're used. They, they're not brand new, you know. Oh, that's got a nasty ridge right there. Well, that one's a little bit smooth, but you, know, you can see they've been drawing some current by the colour of the whiteness, but otherwise, I don't know. Maybe someone was telling fibs. Anyway, that's the end of this little teardown. I hope it wasn't too boring for you. Um, I don't think they've been contacting the housings or anything, the magnets. It looks all quite, looks all quite good in there. Well, you never know these days, do you? Anyway, that's it. Tuesday teardown, diesel transfer pump. Thanks for watching. I learned something. I hope you did too.